I like to give all glory and praises and honor unto the Most High. And, you know, this is not going to be too long today. This one's not going to be too long. And what we're going to be talking about, well, you see the slide, man. Once again, sell out niggas, man. Um, the, uh, in these Greek fraternities, a.k.a. the Black Boulet. And the reason I'm bringing this up because, you know, I was watching this video, this one guy, and, you know, he was, he made a, um, you know, he was making a video on the Black Boulet, you know, or he did a video, I should say, and, um, you know, there's certain things that he said in there that they preferred, you know, and I don't want to say them, say them as yet, because I guys, I guys want you to watch this little short clip, you know, and what I want you to pay attention to is the things that, you know, he's saying that they preferred, you know, instead of, instead of having their own nation, you know, they're rather, they're rather do this. Instead of building together with their own, they're rather do this. You know, so, you know, what we're going to do right now, we're going to take a look at this, uh, this clip, and then we're going to get back to it. Now, they said the two house Negroes made a bet that whites would come out on top and give a certain percentage of these greedy Negroes named Boulay members the wealth they stole from Africa, right? So they say what's deep is that they didn't believe in African self-reliance and preferred to have whites give them table scraps instead of making the whole pie. Now you have to understand the boule represents the weakest element of black people. Understand that they are the Stephen of Django Unchained. You understand? That's them. They will protect the master. They will do everything they can. They'll fight with other black people and also deceive other black people. Now, as Steve so you see what he said, man. He said that, you know, um, basically, uh, you know, these guys, you know, instead of having their own, instead of having their own nation and things like that, you know, they're rather, um, you know, work for the, um, for the crumbs pretty much, you know, they're, they're rather work for the crumbs. You know, they, they didn't want to, um, you know, stay together and build, build together. And, you know, and like you said, they're, they're the weakest out of the weakest, but you know, they're, these guys are highly esteemed, man. You mean amongst amongst um, I mean certain people in society, man. You mean they're highly esteemed, man, because of the money they have, you know. And they've done a lot of evil and wicked things, and this is one of the reasons why you know we can't come up too, you know, because of this this black boule, you know, manipulating things behind the scenes, man. You mean also, you mean working for the but for, working for those butter biscuits, pretty much, and. You know, as I was reading um, the book of Jasher, you know, um, this was, this sounded like them, man. You know, the, 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 the Edomites, man. It sounded like the Edomites, you know. So we're going to get into that passage real quick, man, you know. So this is the book of Jasher, chapter 57. Uh, we're going to do 38 and 39. And it says, and it came to pass in those days that the turn of Esau resolved to crown a king over them in the land which they became possessed. And they said to each other, not so, for he shall reign over us in our land, and we shall be under his counsel, and he shall fight our battles against our enemies, and they did so. And the turn of Esau swore, saying that none of their brethren should ever reign over them, but a strange man who was not of their brethren. For the souls of all the turn of Esau were embittered, Every man against his son, brother, and friend on the account of the evil they sustained from their brethren when they fought the turn of sir. Sir, so um, what this is saying pretty much right here is that, you know, the turn of Esau, they never wanted one of their own to rule over them, man. You know I mean? They, you know what I mean? When it came to one of their own, they, they, they couldn't stand one another. You know what I mean? It was like... You know, the origins of play, like player heating, you know, you know what I mean? Oh, this guy's not good enough to rule over me, you know what I mean? This guy's not good enough to rule over me. So what they did, they always got somebody out of their, their nation, you know what I mean, to rule over them, another king, you know, because, you know I mean, they, they had that much animosity against each other, man. Now, you see with the um, the turn of Israel, you know what I mean, in, in um, Judah, they had, they had righteous kings over them, man, you know what I mean? I mean, the, the, the turn of Israel had no problem with having one of their own over them. But you see, Esau didn't want that. He they, they always went outside and got somebody else to rule over them, man. You know what I mean? So that, like I said, that's the origins of player hating to me, man. And and, that, and you see that with the black, you know I mean, when, when, he, when, he, when he mentioned those, you know, those things about the black boulet, that, 
automatically that's what popped in my head. I mean, like, that sound like Esau, man. I mean, that sound like Esau. You know, and like they said, you know, you know, like, b before Esau, um, well, Esau mixed with a lot of the nations, man, but in, in the book of Joshua, it tells you that Esau was con conquered by Rome, you know what I mean? You know, but before that, you know what I mean, Esau was most definitely a, a Negro, man. You know, he most definitely was. And, you know, you see, um, you see, you see right here that, uh, this is the characteristics, characteristics of the, of the black boule, man. I mean, they're a bunch of sellouts, man. They don't care about anything. They don't care about building with their own nation. You know, and they sell a lot for the crumbs to protect. I mean, they're master for butter biscuits, man. You know, and like you said, they're the worst out of the worst, man. And they still out here, man. Mm -hmm. these, these, these guys are definitely Edomites, man. You know what I mean? That have no regard for their, their nation or their people, man. You know I mean? That fool, that, that, he, he said they're going to give them the crumbs of what they took from Africa. Like, you, you niggas are a sad case, man. And you got to pay for what you did, man. I mean, but, you know, this one ain't going to be too long, man. I just have to, you know I mean? I just have to point that one out. And, um, you know, and one more thing. The, the only reason they respect these guys in the boule is because these guys are sellouts, man. You know I mean? Yeah, yeah, they may give you a little money. They, they, may, they may elevate you. But they res they respect you because you 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 a sellout, man. You know what I mean? You will sell your own nation of people out, man. You know what I mean? Uh, you know what I mean? And and to be honest with you, they really don't even have respect for you. They re they respect you because you know what I mean? Yeah, you a sellout, but in, 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 within the very same breath, they still don't respect you. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> who will respect somebody like that, man? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they went. They they got you a monster. The, 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 uh, their circle. You know what I mean? They give you a little money. But they still don't respect you. They don't even let you niggas in on, in on, the, on, on the juicy details, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> See, you niggas, you niggas are a sad case, man. And that's the goes back to my video. Like, yo, you could be famous within your own nation, man. But you choose to be a, a um, you know what I mean? A coon, man. You know what I mean? You, you, you choose to be Snowball from Django. So it's so all praises to the most high, man. You know what I mean? This one ain't gonna be too long, man.